let's take a look at some Inui pad work. So his trainer's got the big body shield on and they're starting off with some fast straight punches. I think that's here, is it a one, one, two? Padman's moving around, standing in the southpaw stance, so I'm not sure which camp this was for. And now Anui is sitting down on the right uppercut. After watching a few of Anui's training videos, something you'll notice is he's very repetitious with his technique. He'll do things over and over and over again. So he's just touching the lead hand, getting used to moving around to the outside of the opponent's lead foot, and then setting that liver shot up, oh, that is absolute money. So he's using a jab, then using the, the jab to retract his shoulder back, transferring all his weight into that side, and then loading up the left body shot and drifting round to the outside. Again, getting away from the power side of a southpaw opponent by going to the outside of the lead foot. Once he's got his slow reps in, then he'll get a fast repetition of the, of the same technique. So now he's rolling a lead right hook and coming with a uh, left hook to the body again. So that's one of his patented shots. He's, it's that roll underneath and that right uppercut into body shot. He sneaks it through, lovely. And in the previous video where I broke down some of his sparring, you'll see him uh, beating up one of his sparring partners and hitting him regularly with that technique. And that really slows a man down getting plugged to the body like that. So I don't know if he's working specific strategies by putting his opponent on the ropes. But again here, look, do you see the way he squatted then? So if we just take that back a bit, the way he squatted just to set his base, I always tell my students that if you can't pick up a weight correctly with good technique, you can't squat, you couldn't like deadlift a weight, then you, you're off position. You want that, that spine neutral, you want a good shape and you want your feet nice and wide, especially when you're looking to power punch. You want to sit down on the shot, the wider you, your base is, the more power you're going to generate is you're going to be punching with your legs rather than just arm punching with your torso. He's like checking his base, he's finding his feet, he's feeling himself in the floor, grounding himself, making sure his stance is correct. So he's just touching with the lead hand and then loading up that straight right punch and pinging it through the middle. But notice not every shot's a big shot, it's just constantly focusing on the rotation of the technique, generating power from right to left using his torso instead of just winging in with the arm punches. And not everything's with that absolute power. It's more about the precision and just getting that core rotation. So that's a straight right, left hook, left body shot. That is absolutely lovely stuff. It's just really basic bread and butters. This is what a lot of people kind of underestimate is how many repetitions of basic techniques that you've got to put in in the gym. He's not doing anything fancy. The pad man's not offering him any like crazy combinations, no no um, weird looks or counters, just basic stuff. Here he's drilling a, a triple uppercut and you'll see new throw that in his bar and you'll see it in his fights, he spams the uppercut. And uh, again, something that just underestimated, just doubling and tripling up on the same side, a, a basic concept that again gets a bit overlooked. The big dome pad, and this is again like what you see with Kennedy Kalafkin or Canelo, more Triple G, I see Triple G on this all the time, and he's just banging in shots. Again, this is maximum power. So with the hand mitts, he was focused more on speed, repetitions, the pad man giving him a certain look, shaping his body as a southpaw and giving him certain angles, whereas on the uh, body shield, it's about hitting with power and transferring the weight again, front, front foot to back foot. He was using a little shift back into, I think it was a hook cross or cross hook. Now he's going over the right uppercut lead hook. Again, sitting down, he shots. He's taking his time. He's making sure he's well balanced with every single punch. He's not throwing any wasted punches. Everything's pretty much perfect. So he's getting good quality reps and plenty of them. And Padman's just leaning into the shield, sitting down on it. And I don't particularly like as a Padman this piece of equipment. I think you can do just as good a job on the bag, if I'm honest with you. I think it's more maybe a bit of novelty, adds a bit of a dynamic. And then obviously the pad man can walk around the ring and add an element of ring craft. These guys have got an entire open gym at their disposal to um, utilize, they can move around the ring. If you was just you know in a busy class, in a busy gym, you haven't got that space to move, you might as well kind of go on the bag rather than using something like this. Mastering the basics, if you're a beginner and you're watching this and you want to get good at boxing, 
and you want to improve it, just literally go in the gym and get repetitions on your core techniques, your, your, your right straight, your jab. But I think a really useful tool that you can do is film yourself training and then hold yourself accountable. Like look at your jab or look at your right uppercut, look at your body shot, then look at a new like side by side comparison. And then you've got a rough idea of kind of what you're aiming for. That's what it should look like. And does yours look like that? Is your weight being transferred from front foot to back foot? So I'm just gonna slow down the body shot now and just go over why I think it's just so damn perfect. So he's using his jab on this one to retract into the body shot. It's a great setup because you get the guy's hand to cover up on the same side. And then you can use that jab as you come back, as he's distracted that side, lifting his arm, exposing the ribs and the liver, you can drop that body shot down on the left side. So Nui just does a, a brilliant job here, especially on a southpaw fight where he's distracting his lead hand and you can just sneak that body shot in. It's a bit closer. Here you can see him setting it up, I think, with a uh, cross hook body shot. So he's using a left hook to get the fighter to cover up up high and then you get the body shot on the, on the same side underneath. So it's doubling up the same side once again. Probably the best way to set up the body shot, get the opponent to be distracted that side and then sneak it in underneath when they're not expecting it. So if you see how he gets the full rotation of his torso, he opens his chest, he turns his torso, pulls that left shoulder back. He lowers his left hand a little bit. You could argue maybe he should punch from his chin, but I'm never going to tell Anumi that he has insufficient technique. He's obviously quick enough and the setup's good enough. He can get away with it. He's getting maximum and power. He's punching from his hip, he's from his waist, and he's getting the full turn into it, turning that front knee, transferring his weight into his back foot, getting his arm and his elbow extended out and delivering it with absolute force, maximum power. If he, if he lands that, obviously, he's going to probably get the finish or at least hurt and wind his opponent. Set, setup is perfect when you watch it in full speed. Doesn't look like much behind it, but you can just tell that is a near perfect punch. I hope you enjoyed this video and this little breakdown on Inui's pad work training. If you did, give the video a like and subscribe. You can also head over to the Pro Striking Patreon for extra content. Pro Striking out, I'll catch you later.